Kia ora, hello, I'm Philip Duncan. Thank you very much for joining us for our Thursday weather video for September the 8th. And we're tracking low pressure around Australia and incoming high pressure for now for New Zealand. Let's take a look at the animated wind map. Now today we've added in there the UV rays because this is becoming a more important feature of the weather as we slide towards summer. Now when we reach the spring equinox, which is two weeks away or so, that is when we have equal length day and equal length night. And that's also when at lunchtime, the sun is sort of perfectly over the equator and that's when you'll start to find this area here of high UV rays. This is the extreme UV rays in this big pink purple blob, well that blob slides further and further down the globe over the next few months as we start to get longer days and the sun's more directly above us. So these areas up here on the UV index goes right up to 18, that's extreme. Down in New Zealand and a large portion of populated parts of Australia, it's down around 3, 4 and 5. Now that's moderate already, which means if you're outside in the sun for 30 minutes, you could be getting skin damage and obviously more extreme levels up here. So the next couple of months, we'll be watching this closely as it comes further and further down. By the way, the reason why you're seeing that darker shading there, that's just rain clouds blocking the UV rays. So we'll talk about that in a moment as well. Let's get into the forecast. We've got some rain on the way for the eastern side of the North Island, around about 40, 50 millimetres right up here around East Cape and Gisborne and down towards Hastings, maybe 45 millimetres or so there as well. Elsewhere, just a few showers in the north, the west and the very top of the South Island and dry for the three quarters of the rest of the South Island as that high pressure zone from the Tasman moves on in. Australia's also got rain from that front as it moves in and comes up against the mountains and ranges. So totals here around about 40 to 50 millimetres for parts of New South Wales, Victoria, and even getting into some parts of Queensland. Now there's also going to be down around Victoria and New South Wales thunderstorms and hail showers. And that's because there's a colder change moving in behind it. The low is centered down here near Adelaide. You've got gale force winds in orange. So that's that area there showing up in the southwest change, the colder one coming in behind the front. And then around the front, north to north easterly winds blowing through with gale force winds possible in some areas, mostly localized, but it is possible. So let's get into the forecast properly. Here we are for Friday, lunchtime Friday in New Zealand, 10 o'clock in the morning over in Sydney and Brisbane. And you can see that front coming through there. That's the one with a few thunderstorms and isolated hail showers. And then behind it, the colder southerly comes in and that colder southerly is coming to New Zealand next week. But before it does, this high pressure zone crosses over us and then warmer northerlies come in behind it for a time. So as we go into Friday, there are a few showers around the country. As we go into Saturday, the high is further out towards the Chatham Islands, and we've got that trough or pothole in the sky, if you like, up around here. And that just fills up with a bit of rain cloud. And that's why we're seeing that uh, rain accumulation around Gisborne, East Cape, and Hawke's Bay, but not really elsewhere. So that is the setup as we go on towards uh, the weekend. Now, as we go to Sunday, that system moves away and falls apart, and now we've got a northerly, a mild subtropical northerly, as the high continues to move further away. So a warmer Sunday coming through with places like Southland getting up into the mid to late teens, and we might even see 20 degrees here and there in some locations, but it's a short jump over to Tasmania and Victoria, where you've got the other end of the system, the colder, more wintry southerly change that is returning. So next week, Interesting week next week in the New Zealand area to begin with. We've, once again, we've got a subtropical low to the north and a colder wintry change coming in from the south. Very similar to last week, but there are two differences and the two differences are kind of the same, which does make sense in my head. Up here, we've got that low, so that's the same as the week we've just had this week, but it's much weaker. And this cold front, similar to this week as well, but again, it's much weaker. So it's a weaker setup next week with the low to the north and the next coming cold change. And around about lunchtime on Monday, there's rain around the North Island and that cold front just about to come in to the South Island. So by Tuesday, that cold change is now moving into the North Island. And by the end of the day, all of New Zealand will be dropping in temperatures, but it is not as cold as what it's just been. We're not forecasting snow in any of the main centers at this stage, but there could be snow flurries on the mountains and ranges again, going around this big high. And we were talking about this high in our Climate Watch update, update saying, as we go through the month of September, there's an uptick in high pressure 
And that's exactly what we're seeing here. So that limits the rainmakers quite a bit. We've also got a rainmaker coming into Western Australia on Tuesday that'll drive in some wet weather. But by Wednesday, it starts to drop back down into the Southern Ocean. Just a few showers with the Southwester over there. High pressure around Australia, that will be frosty for you following the colder change. And in the New Zealand area, that cold air goes all the way up the country, but only a few showers and mostly coming into the Eastern North Island which may not be what you want to hear because I think you probably want the sun to come out a wee bit more over on that eastern side. Of course, the downside of it being sunny is those with the vineyards have to worry about frosts. So one step forward, one step backwards. It's either raining and you can relax or it's uh, sunny and dry, but then you've got the frost factor to worry about for some people as well. So that's the forecast right through till the middle of next week. Our next update will be on Friday. We'll, we'll, we will see you then. In the meantime, please go to weatherwatch.co.nz for the latest weather news headlines. We'll see you tomorrow.